I'm Ava and today we're taking a look at Zuru 5 Surprise mini brands. I have seen Zuru 5 Surprise everywhere over the last couple years and today I'm finally taking a look at this brand myself. We have quite a lot to look at today. I tried to get as many newer items as I could but here in Canada it's much more difficult to get my hands on these things. But we have mini brand series 1, 2, 3, and 4. We have foodie mini brands and series one of mini fashion. Once again, I've never opened up one of their five surprise mini ball things. So I'll be excited with anything I get. Let's just begin. And I think I want to get started with this huge thing over here. Ah! Okay, I'm so excited. I'm gonna start from oldest to newest, so we're gonna start off with series one, which may be the least exciting because it is the oldest one, but I think we should do this in order, so we're gonna start here. Okay, I'm literally so excited about this. I've never opened up one of these things. Pull here. Another layer of plastic. And this really reminds me of an orange, which maybe is like what they were going for, but it's really interesting. And then I think I pull off this thing. I don't think there's a specific order you have to do this in, so I'm just gonna start. Okay, what is that? Oh my gosh! Okay, little Smarties. Or actually here in Canada, at least, we call these things like rockets, but that's so, oops, so realistic. I don't know what I was expecting. I mean, that's the whole point, but. Okay, okay, little warheads. Oh, okay, here is the collector guide and we have some Mentos. I believe most of the items suit Barbie dolls pretty well, but these definitely look way too big. But we're gonna test out how they look with the dolls later. Anyways, let's take a look at this. Okay, this is really fun. It can check off the ones as we go. And here, oh, are these like little stickers? And then, I'm not, I cannot, this is not satisfying, I'm sorry. Yeah, I think this is like a little basket cart thing. Let's set this up, if I can figure it out. Why do I feel like I'm gonna struggle? Ah, it's falling apart. Oops. Oh my gosh, I can't build this thing to save my life. Alrighty, that's actually really cute. We can put like little things in the basket. This is definitely too small for the dolls, but not everyone who's collecting mini brands are collecting them for Barbie dolls. That's just what I'm doing personally. Okay, last one here. Red bacon pieces. I guess that, those are like bacon bits. Okay, so we got the Warheads, Mentos, bacon bit things where are the smarties the heck okay guys i might literally just be blind but i can't find the smarties i can't find the smarties on here tell me if you can see them and i just am missing something okay so there's this side and then this side am i missing something i literally don't see them well either way we got smarties and they're not on here so i don't know what that's about and as a little bonus, I'll tell you which of the five items from each of the five surprise balls is my favorite. For this one, it's actually going to be the Smarties, which again, wasn't even on the list from what I could see, but I'd say these are definitely my favorite. Oh, and it looks like you can put the little mini brand sticker on the basket. And now we're going to move on to series two. I like how this one's gold. I don't know why I like to do that. It's kind of fun. Looks like we're starting off with like the other sort of item. I don't even know what to say, what to call it, but. Oh, this is fun. It's like a little, what is this? It's like a little counter where you'd go to pay for your items. I'm gonna speed build this. Okay, so this is really cute. Again, way too small for Barbie dolls, which is again, what I'm collecting these things for. Okay, here we go. Looks like we have some hot sauce. And here is this collector. Oh, wow, this one's a lot bigger. <laughs> oh my gosh. Woo. This list is a lot bigger than series one. Crystal light. What is that? It's like juice or something. Okay, it's like a little drink mix. That's really cute. Oh. And here we have chunky garlic stir in paste. Okay, and our last one here is cheese fun fact i literally hate cheese but that doesn't mean the dolls have to so this is really cute i'm gonna check these items off on my collector's guide i'd say my favorite item from this batch here is probably the crystal light drink mix let's open our second series two ball here right off the bat zesty italian looks like a little 
I don't know what it is. These things literally just slip out of my fingers. It looks like a little dressing, perfect size for the dolls. Lunchables, these bring back memories. This is so cute. Okay, here's this again. Heinz Sweet Relish. And Stovetop Chicken. Oh, we got mustard. For some reason, I thought in every single one, you always got like a piece of furniture, like one of the baskets or carts or tables, but apparently not, which I'm not mad about. I actually prefer the little brands over the other stuff. My favorite item this time, it definitely has to be the Lunchables. One thing about the mustard too, that's kind of bothering me is that they didn't put the sticker on fully straight. So just little details like that, that kind of bother me, but oh well. And now let's open series three. This is such a fun concept though, like just having these little surprises and you really have no idea what you're getting. If only the packaging was easier to open though. Literally, why is this so difficult? I don't know why I feel the need to do that every single time. All right, we have the collector guide and spinach and artichoke cheese dip. I actually do love this, even though I don't like cheese, but I love like artichoke and spinach dip. Okay, this list is pretty long as well. Okay, I just took a quick look at the list and I saw the Hershey's Cookies and Cream bar. And that's like my favorite chocolate bar ever. So I really hope we can get this one. I really want it. Please, please, Hershey's, please. Imagine it's this one. Oh my gosh, the suspense. There we go. Nope. Shake and Bake Original Chicken. We got oven roasted turkey breast. The packaging on this looks really cool. Come on. Wheat Thins. I actually love these in real life as well. <laughs> so far, I'm really liking all these items we've gotten. Kool-Aid Jammers. Oh, and that's it. <laughs> okay, favorite item here, I think will actually have to be the turkey because I just think the packaging looks so realistic. Okay, we got one more Series 3 mini brands here, and I'm really still hoping for that Cookies and Cream Hershey's. Please. Just some little paper grocery bags. I actually really like these. Looks like there's two of them. Ugh. I might have to make a compilation of how many times I drop things at the end of this video. <laughs> Please, Hershey's. Okay, here's the guide again. And that is not Hershey's. Those are diapers, pretty far off. Oh, no. <laughs> no, here's our first duplicate item. We were doing so well. So now we have two shake and bake original chicken. Jolly Ranchers. Okay, this is my last one. Please, please be the Hershey's. Cookies and cream. Uh, we have Super Sour Double Drops. Interesting. But not the Hershey's Cookies and Cream. I guess that just means we'll have to buy more Series 3 mini brands another time. Okay, favorite item this round actually has to be the little bags. I just think these are so cute. And will fit all of our items perfectly. Okay, and now we're moving to some new stuff. Series four. This is the newest series and I was able to somehow get my hands on these, but it was a process. All right. It says orange strawberry. So maybe that's some sort of orange strawberry juice. Either way, it looks really cute. Oh, tro Hawaiian Tropic Salt Hydration Clear Spray Sunscreen. This is so cute. What the heck is that? They're like little vitamins. Let's see what we got. Okay, here we have the collector's guide. Oh, we got two things in here. Is that normal? We got a little stack of money. Are you kidding me? And Chi Chi's Authentic Hint Lemon Tortilla Chips. All you mini brands experts, let me know in the comments below. Is this normal to get two things in one? Either way, I'm not complaining. Oh yeah, this list is also very long. Mike and Ike's. These are really good. I like these in real life very much. Here's our items. I think my favorite might have to be the sunscreen. Okay, so here's our second series four mini brands. And the packaging is still as horrible as ever. What is this? Little gummy vitamins. Interesting, more vitamins. Gotta stay healthy. Strawberry gelatin for making jello. That's kind of neat. No, <laughs> no. Ah, uh, as much as I love the sunscreen, I didn't want another one. Oh, Pringles. Okay, these are really cute. I love these. Oh, collector's guide. And once again, we got money and bomb burrito. 
whatever the heck that is. So I guess maybe that's just normal. Maybe you get a thing of money with every surprise, no idea. Unfortunately, it's just another stack of 20s and not any of the other kinds, but still not mad about that. Okay, my favorite item this time around, hands down, has to be the Pringles. Okay, now we're done with all of the regular mini brand series and now we're gonna move on to foodie mini brands. I'm not really sure what the big difference is. I guess the difference is that there will only be food items, I'm guessing. Either way, we're about to find out. And this is a newer collection as well, so let's see what we got. Oh, this is much different. There's not like an orange shape. You just kind of crack it in half, I guess. Let's see. Oh, okay, interesting. So this is a lot different. There's just little packets. And I guess here is the collector's guide. Also pretty different. Alrighty, I guess let's just begin. I'll start with this one here. It's Sue Dis Tea Talk Miso. What the heck is that? <laughs> oh, okay, it's Miso Soup. I don't know why I couldn't figure that out myself, but either way, that's really cute. This one. Oh, that's really cute. I love that. Here's a little drink. Apparently it's cherry limeade to be exact. And these are definitely giving off a different vibe than the regular mini brands. I'm not even sure what the big difference is, but it's definitely just different. Oh, I love that. Okay, this is a Mango Mania, and I just absolutely love that. The little drinks are so cute. Oh my gosh, I recognize that packaging. Oh my, I love that. I keep saying that over and over again. I feel like the foodie mini brands are kind of getting me more hyped up than the other ones. I don't even know why, but this is so cute. It's a little Subway sub, and like half of the wrapper is on. Oh my gosh, these just keep getting cuter. This is a little hamburger from Carl's Jr. I am loving these. Okay, now this is really difficult, but I think my favorite item here has to be the little sub. Just look how adorable that is. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This one is actually the orange tango and it's actually a collector's case exclusive. I don't really know what that means, but I think it just means it's more rare. So I was wrong. It's not the Mango Mania. It's actually the Orange Tango. I'm just gonna like put an X beside it. <laughs> That's like our first kind of like rare item. Okay, now I'm really hyped up to open up this one too. I'm so glad I got two of these. <laughs> Talking about these ones are like even more fun than the other ones. I literally don't even know why. I'm just enjoying them more. The Collector's Guide. Let's see what's in here. Here we have a, what is this? This is a little coffee. This one's a really big package. I don't know if that means that the item's gonna be bigger. Interesting, what is this? Oh, looks like we have to do more building. It's like one of those um, self payment thingies. You know what I mean, you know what, the, you know, you know what I'm talking about. If I'm being honest, I probably would have preferred just another like actual food product, but it's still pretty neat. What's going on in here? Oh my gosh, I'm struggling. Oh, interesting. It's like an opened up box and inside it looks like ribs. Yeah, it looks like this is the glazed ribs. Okay, second to last. Okay, this is cute. I don't know why I love the little Subway stuff, but I love this little Subway drink. Okay, our last foodie mini brand. This is really sad. I'm like really enjoying this. Okay. Really? That's it? <laughs> okay, it looks like we got a little like bag i mean it's cute don't get me wrong it's just like kind of a sad finale and there's just some other items i would have way rather preferred but it's still pretty cute okay out of these i think my favorite has to be the little subway drink okay and now we're moving away from food and towards fashion these are the mini fashion of five surprise and i'm really excited about these these are series one apparently there's a series two now but i couldn't get my hands on the series two so we're just opening up the series one today why is this so difficult this might be the most difficult packaging yet i literally don't know why okay it looks like this one is also a crack in half one so oh looks like we only have two packages here it does say five surprise on it so don't know what that's about here's the collector's guide oh it's not that big so for this one, we can get purses and some like makeup and other accessories. Maybe there's a couple things in here. Oh, yep. Okay, first of all, this little perfume is adorable. It has like a lid that can go on and off. Oh, everything like works. This is like a little eyeshadow palette. And this is a little lipstick. I love that everything functions. That's like the first time we've seen that. 
And then we have a sticker. I'm not sure if this is gonna go on the purse or something. I'm not really sure. Let's find out. Oh my gosh. That is cute. Okay, yeah, this is adorable. I was not expecting it to be this good of quality. It's literally made out of fabric and it looks like a real little Louis Vuitton bag. Obviously they put MF instead of LV, but it looks so cute. Okay, my favorite thing has to be the purse, but everything here I really like. Technically, it's only really four surprises, unless you're counting this random sticker, but whatever. I'm not gonna complain. These things are so cute. And now time for our last one. You really have to fight to get your surprise because this packaging is on another level. No. Okay, we got a duplicate. We got the eyeshadow palette again, but this looks like, oh, this is like a little, yeah, like a little lip gloss. We got another sticker. I like these. These are some little glasses and they do actually bend in and out. And now what we're really here for, the purse. I swear if it's the same one again, I'm gonna be really upset. Let me look at what I want. Okay, I really want either that one or this one or that one. Any, actually any of the pink ones, I'll be really happy with. Oh, it's pink. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. I like this one even more than the Louis Vuitton one. Oh my gosh, and I just realized there's a little magnet here. This little magnet. Are you kidding me? This is really good quality. Like these purses are really good quality. Obviously my favorite item has to be the purse, but these little sunglasses are also just adorable. Also, let's just take a moment to look at the aftermath here. There's a lot of packaging, like, here are all of the items together. I'm really happy with everything we got. We only got a couple duplicates. We got two of the sunscreens, two of the shake and bake, two of the $20 bills, and two of the eyeshadow palettes. And I think that was it. So not too bad at all. I love how all of these items look, but I'm definitely very curious on which ones will go well with the dolls and which ones not so much. Okay, so I grabbed a doll here and we're just gonna kind of test out the size comparisons with the items to the dolls. Okay, yeah, there's a few items that are just obviously way too big. Like that's just not normal. <laughs> a few other things as well, like the bacon bits here and some of the condiments, they're just a little bit bigger than what would be normal. But lots of the items fit perfectly. Like look at this little box of wheat thins and lots of the little bagged items as well, which I'm still confused about these Smarties. Like I literally couldn't find this on any of the collector guides. So if you guys know what that's about, let me know. I'm very curious. That Subway sandwich is perfectly sized. Some of the makeup items are definitely a little bit on the larger side, especially this lip gloss here. But then again, others are perfect. So it really just depends on the item. Ugh, I really wish the sunscreen was a little bit smaller because I would have loved to put this in the bathroom, but I think it's just a little bit too big. As for the purses, they fit perfectly. So yeah, I'm really happy about that. They're actually the perfect size. Oh, and the sunglasses surprisingly fit perfectly well. I was not expecting that, but they look great on the dolls. I really hope you enjoyed watching me open up these Zuru 5 Surprise mini brands and mini fashion for the first time ever. I had such a fun time. And if you wanna see me opening more of these mini brands and stuff, let me know below because I will gladly do it. Let me know which of all of the items is your favorite because I'm really curious to know. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you can become part of the hashtag DD squad, aka the best doll squad out there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see all of you in the next one. Bye. And, oops, that's so, oopsies. Ah, oops. Oh my gosh, that's really cute. Thanks. A little... If there's some, no, oops.